Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and welcome to day four of the Taiwan China conflict. Day four, we've got lots to talk about and we've got the biggest fight so far. We are going to go through what happened in day three so we can all have a reminder. We've got to go through the geopolitics and the overall map view. We've then got to go through the feedback from you guys who shape what happens from day three. We're then going to go through the BDA from day three, which is going to be over here somewhere and down here somewhere. Then we're going to go over the overview plan for day four, then the detailed plan for day four, then talk about the humans, then talk about the predictions, then run the sim, then do the post sim debrief. <sighs> starting with what happened on day three the highlights of day three were japan entered with their carrier group and the f-35s they didn't do any fighting but they did unload their entire two squadrons of f-35b's over to the front line in taiwan also taiwanian allies launched a sea strike against the chinese hq9 sam site and it was completely ineffective and the big one, massive cruise missile attack from China against Taiwan. They launched 100 time on target cruise missiles. So 100 simultaneous cruise missiles, which to be honest, should have wiped out Taiwan. It didn't. It didn't work. It didn't get through the picket line. The picket line, which is this here, uh, 15 or so modern destroyers and cruisers and frigates, shot the 100 missiles down. Now, the interesting thing about that is it, that only happened because the two anti-ship strikes that were supposed to destroy the picket line failed. That only happens, as it turns out, and I apologise for this because of user error or human error. When I was setting up the anti-ship strikes, I set it up and I tested it and it worked. And then I forgot to save it because me. And then I went and quickly redid it again and I just did it wrong because I'm an idiot. So I apologise for that. It's kind of weird how such a tiny, stupid error caused the entire shift of how the how the war has gone because if i hadn't made that error if i'd remembered to save it the picket line would have been wiped out at least 50 percent of it probably most of the sd10s sd20s would have got through these are massive modern 300 plus mile cruise missiles by the way modeled in the game most of them would, would have got through most of the taiwanese bases would have got wiped out and that would probably be the end of the conflict then the conflict is can china beat taiwan that's that's what we're doing in this uh, it's just and it just made me think if you guys can think of any examples in real life war campaigns where a relatively small human error has kind of gone up the chain and made ended up in a massive defeat let's look at today's map overview so a continuation charles de gaulle is moving in the us csg3 abraham lincoln has moved another 600 miles uh, the Roosevelt Carrier Group CV-71 CSG-9 has moved another 600 miles. The Shandong Chinese Carrier Group has moved and intercepted it and has now blocked it. And I'm not sure what's happening there, whether they're going to shoot each other or what, but that's happened. The Liaoning Chinese Carrier Group has moved towards Taiwan and the British, the UK CSG Carrier Group Strike Group 21 has gone from Taiwan. They were just reaching Taiwan, turned around and blocked Liaoning. So Liaoning has now been nullified by CSG-21 UK. Roosevelt carrier groups being blocked by the Shandong carrier strike group. How do we simulate that? Do we actually run those battles? I don't know. I guess I'm in your hands with that. The Japanese carrier strike group is in. It was actually in in the last day. It's there. The Seventh Fleet is in, but semi-nullified. If you remember, the carrier actually got shot and disabled. The Kuznetsov. 2023 group so we're pretending it's 2023 because Netsov is out of its modernization program and is coming with its new fleet is another 600 miles closer to Taiwan otherwise everything stays the same next the valued viewer feedback from the day three video one BDA we'll go through that battle damage assessment in a minute two I ask you guys United States Navy is already here you know one of its groups is already here and two more are on the way when would the United States Air Force the USAF get into this battle and you guys said cap you're an idiot the f-22 air wing is already at guam in real life as we speak there is an f-22 air wing apparently at uh, anderson i think in guam literally ready for this conflict in real life so they should basically be here so i apologize i didn't know that the f-22s are now here next can you include helicopters taiwan has lots of uh-1h's that's hueys uh okay end Next, I asked you guys when the B-2s, the B-52s and the B-1s, again USAF, the bombers this time, would appear. And you guys said, Cap, you're stupid. 
you're misunderstanding how these work. They don't need to relocate to Guam because they are, I don't really know the word, but strategic, strategic bombers. They can actually take off from America and fly halfway around the world to Taiwan, bomb, and come back. That's the whole idea of these long-range bombers. So let's say they're here now, okay? In day four, it took them a while, but there you go. Cap, it's unfair that the Chinese have long-range missiles, the PL-15s, which are just wiping the floor with the blues, as they might do in real life, I don't really know. Uh, but that is a thing. Um, I've said no, uh, because we've now got, to oppose it, AIM-120Ds, the equivalent NATO or American missile, the AIM-120D, which has the same in game the same 160 nautical mile range, mile range in perfect conditions and it's going to operate basically the same so that should be nullified intercontinental bombers intercontinental bombers i've been told next cap you only allow two j20 stealth attack aircraft on the chinese side per game and there should be more well i've spoken to you guys and i've had predictions of of how many the Chinese have got J-20As. I've had predictions ranging between 20 and 100. No one seems to know. So let's go in the middle and say 60 in total. So yes, I will allow some more. Not lots more, because they don't seem to have as many as the Americans do Raptors. You know, nearly 200 or more than 200, I forget now. Uh, so we will allow some more J-20s. And human pilots are now, now allowed to fly them, which might be a game changer. It might not. We'll see. Next, the Chinese have many corvettes. So plan the People's Liberation Army Navy. Um, you guys want it in here? Okay, fine. I've added it. Also, they've got the two carrier groups out to sea doing tactical stuff. But fine, the plan is now here. As we'll say later, Taiwan has now run out of planes. They've all been shot down. Uh, the only things they've got left is the FCK-1, the indigenous aircraft that looks sort of like a mini Hornet. So we need to use that. We don't have it. We don't have a mod as an analog. So we're going to use JF-17 for it. It's the closest thing we could find in capabilities. You might be able to argue that, but that's what we're going to use. So we're bringing out the FCK ones. Ground forces. You guys want to see ground forces start to happen. I have to push back on that. Unfortunately, we've reached the limit of our, even with our brand new lovely server, uh, we can't start adding ground forces as well. It's going to get too much. I will be doing ground forces in war games, but not this particular one because, again, it's just too big. Next, plan. We've already talked about that. Next, Royal uh, Australian Air Force FA-18 long-range strikes could come in and do that. Agreed. However, um, it's going to have to wait until either a different war games or until a later day, simply because, again, we run out of space on this map, um, run out of server power. Maybe there'll be a chance for them later on. We'll see. Next, Chinese missiles? Ballistic cruise missiles? Well, uh, ballistic we tried day two. It was all based around a Chinese ballistic st missile strike. In real life, they have loads of big, powerful, high-tech ballistic missiles. In DCS, we don't have them. It's as simple as that. We got scuds from the 80s or the 70s or whenever it was. And we tried using that, but they're too rubbish, they're inaccurate, and they get shot down. That's all we've got. So we're just going to have to pretend that ballistic missiles don't exist or there's a ceasefire on them or something like that. Cruise missiles? Well, I actually did that on day three. The whole of day three was based around a massive 100 missile SE20, KD20, KD20 cruise missile strike, and it failed. Simple as that. It got wiped out by the picket line that was put in place to protect Taiwan. That should be realistic, as far as I understand. And that is the end of the feedback. On to the BDA. So, BDA for day th end of day three, as ever, done by the wonderful ZBMA077. We worship you, sir, because you're just very cool and do this for us. Let's look at the air losses only of the Chinese. Of the anti-ship bombers, the H6Js, none were shot down and they shouldn't be because they can fire their miss missiles like 150 miles away. AWACSs, none shot down. J20s, two were shot down. So be it. The J-16 Batch 07s, the nasty, nasty one, seven were shot down. All 16 J-10As were shot down and all four j 11 bs Sorry about the noise in the background. They are literally pile-driving a massive housing estate next to my house, which is nice. Next, Blue uh, Axis Coalition. Japanese lost zero of their F-35Bs. bs They were just moving, basically. The US lost zero of the F-A-18Es. F-A-18Es were supposed to be in Suat, Siad on the HQ-9s, but they couldn't They couldn't use the AGM-88Cs against them due to... I'm not actually sure why. I think a limitation in DCS. I'm not sure, but they couldn't. None of the American Hawkeyes were shot down. Taiwan! As ever, on the front line, they've got to accept they're going to lose lots of planes. It's as simple as that. 36 of 36 F-16Es were shot down. Uh, not Es, they were Vs. Vs they used. 
Uh, one F5 was shot down and they're all out. 23 Mirage-2000-5 were shot down and they're all out. And two, none of the E2Ks were shot down, giving us a total loss of... Reds lost 29 of their 40 aircraft in the attack, Blues lost 60 of their 95 aircraft committed, and Human lost. One Damp Sock was shot down, one Cortana was shot down, and no Simbas were shot down. Well done Simba, he was the man of the match that time round. And two Blue Ships were lost. A Ticonderoga cruiser of the 7th Fleet uh, Legacy, a Oliver has a Perry of the Taiwanese Navy, were sunk. And uh, that leads us on to the indigenous forces of Taiwan, which is kind of what this is all about. Here is the Wikipedia's uh, estimation of the actual real life force at the moment of Taiwan in terms of fighters. Of the 26 F5s, E's all have been shot down, there are none left. Of the Mirage 2000-5 EIs, there were 46, they've now all been shot down, there are none left. Of the F-16 Fighting Falcons, the A's and Victors, the A's are modern, MLUs by the way, um, there was 113, almost all have been shot down, there's only 6 left, which is amazing that we've got through so many fighters. Of the Hawkeyes, 2 have been shot down, 4 are left. We're bringing out the reserves, the FCK-1C, the last aircraft flyable in Taiwan at this point in day 4 of the attack, 103. And, um, like I said, we're going to use JF-17s. It's what we think is the closest we can get, 103. Next, we're going to move on to today's overview. First, attrition on day four. Taiwan started off at the beginning with a real-life 288 fighters and 518 total aircraft of all types. They are now at 109 fighters left and 337 total aircraft left. Eastern Theatre Command China. Remember, we're not using the whole of China. It's just too big to simulate. We're using just the Eastern Theatre Command, which is realistic to um, at least a certain degree. Started off with a total of 380 total aircraft, unknown uh, constitution of fighters. They've done pretty well. They've now got 287 total aircraft uh, left to use. So they've got, in terms of fighters that we're interested in using here, probably more. Next, let's look at the constitution of what's being used on day four. So... Taiwan on the blue side, two times E2Ks, airborne for A. They're using their last six F-16 Victors slash AMLUs and they're airborne. They're using 32 of the FCK-1s as cap. They're using six times UH-60s. I'm not actually sure if they've got UH-60s. I must admit I ran out of this time. I ran out of time, but you wanted some helicopters. They're not going to do much, but at least there's some helicopters in there now. Giving Taiwan, a total of 46 AI aircraft plus humans, whatever we're going to use today, and we'll discuss that in a, minute, in a minute. Taiwan has six ships left of their relevant navy. Next, Japan still has 16 F-35 Bravos from their carrier strike group, and they're here, and they're all being used, plus four ships from their strike group. Next, USA are committing today 16 F-A-18Es, um, and we'll talk about that. One times E2D, which is the leftover from the 7th Fleet. Eight F-22A Raptors, airborne, flying over from Guam. Eight B-2 Spirit Bombers, airborne, giving the USA a total of 33 committed aircraft and nine ships. That gives a total of 95 AI aircraft, plus our human pilots, plus 19 ships. On the ground, they nothing's changed because nothing was blown up. So four Patriots, uh, that many Hawks, and that many Gepards. Next, China. They are going for their anti-shipping again, and we'll talk about the reasons for that uh, shortly. Eight times anti-ship H6Js, which are just incredibly powerful anti-ship weapons, as you've probably noticed by now. Uh, two times J20A stealth fighters, interceptors. Two times uh, AWACS. Eight times the nasty ones. J-16 Block 7s, long-range um, intercept aircraft with the mighty PL-15 long-range weapons. 28 J-10As as, you know, generic uh, medium-range escort. 8 times J-11 Bravo escort as medium to long-range escort, giving the Chinese a total committed of 56. It's their biggest attack yet because they, well, they're running out of time if you look at the geopolitics of this thing. Uh, they're committing 56 aircraft, including stealth uh, plus humans, I meant to say. Plus humans. Okay. Plus, the plan is here, and their first destroyer flotilla is here with eight ships, giving them a total of 56 AI aircraft, 
plus HFs plus humans. And they've got their usual three times HQ9 sites analog is an SA20 Bravo gargoyle. And five times HQ7s are here now, and we'll talk about why that's happening, uh, defending the bases. Uh, giving a total today of a server breaking 152 modern AI aircraft in the airspace at once, plus a bunch of humans, plus 27 ships, plus all those SAM sites. It's got to the point now where it no longer even runs on my PC. We're having to try, well, we're trying it for the first time on our brand new server. If it doesn't work, then, well, we won't even put this video out, so it doesn't matter, I suppose. Okay, guys, that's what's going on. Now to the final bit before we go, which is the detailed battle plan. Let's start with blues. First, naval, the remnants of the 7th uh, CSG, 7th fleet, sorry. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 remaining destroyers and cruisers here from the 7th fleet we figured the most useful thing they can possibly do is blockade taiwan picket line and so far it's literally saved taiwan would they do this in real life i really don't know but i think they would they don't just sit still by the way they move about and they zigzag and i've asked them to move so they're the hardest targets they can be but it's proving very effective next there are remnants of the taiwanian guided frigate slash destroyer flotilla and there are six left on each of them by the way are a uh 60 with a penguin anti-ship missile they're going to be flying towards the plan guys this is my introduction of the helicopters flying towards the plan guys and launching their penguins are they going to be effective i highly doubt it but i thought let's give it a go and um, see what happens next the japanese they have their carrier up here and one uh, cruiser left defending it and then they've got two crews, I think actually destroyers, I don't know why it says cruiser, uh, and then two destroyers they've committed to help blockade uh, this part of Taiwan as it's a really important thing to do. Okay, the main offensive measure from Taiwan, well Taiwan can't offend anymore, they haven't got anything left to offend with, uh, it's now all about the USA as we knew it was going to be, bringing USA in, and we've now got the most offensive measure which is eight independent flying B-2 Spirits. They're flying at 36,000 feet. They're all equipped with uh, 16 times AGM-154C standoff single warhead j -Sals. This is the best weapon we can think to equip with this here as anti-land. You, you can't just... It's not like Baghdad. You can't just fly a stealth bomber over China. It will get shot down. The HQ-9s will see it. You have to use standoff weapons from the coast. So we're using standoff weapons, okay? Each of them is tasked to go over Taiwan. They're coming from this angle here from the sea. And they're going to launch their missiles at the maximum range they possibly can, which is about 50 to 60 miles at their current airspeed. They're launching out the five active Chinese airfields, which are not realistic. It's just what I put them in, okay? There are loads of airfields around here because we're actually using Syria because that's a limitation we have. I'm pretending they've got five. Those five are the ones with red writing. Hatay, Abu, Taya, Seikal, and al Kuzar. There. Those are the five active Chinese airfields that are being used by Chinese within 350 miles of Taiwan. And hence, that's what we're attacking. What I can tell you is that I've spent painstakingly set all of these B-50, uh, B-2s to fire all of their 16 j cells against each of these bases. That's 32 j cells per base. Let me just grab one just to show you. So this guy here, for instance, is going up here. Is attacking this base here, and he's going to cut all of the make all of the runway cuts. If all those runway cuts are made, then that base is out of action for 24 hours. That's how it works. Okay, so we're now at the point where China China has been pushed been pushed back into China and is being attacked by Americans, and we're thinking about silencing these bases. If these bases get silenced, China's out of the war, as far as the scope of what we're doing here. Okay, that's the attack. I should say at this point, and this is going to be controversial, but. Well, I don't know. It's not my problem, really. The HQ-9s can see the B-2s. Not from far away, because they've got a tiny radar cross-section, a radar cross-section, as modelled in DCS. It's slightly below 0 0.1 metres squared. Is that realistic? I don't know. You'll have to tell me. I found all kinds of reports on the internet of what their real-life radar cross-section is. They, These guys, the HQ-9s, which are the most modern SAMs out there, I think, can see the B-2s at about 50 miles and can fire at about 40 miles, which... All things equal is probably about right. Luckily, uh, the J-Sales can be fired at 50 to 45 miles. So they should, in theory, in testing, be able to get their J-Sales out and hopefully not get shot down. It's going to be interesting. 
Next, Raptors. We're bringing Raptors in. Apparently, there's a whole air wing stationed at Guam of about 32 Raptors, something like that. Uh, we've got one squadron out today. They've got equipped with them. Ba -ba -ba, brand new, brand new, straight off the press, Amram Ds. There's apparently about 1,000 Mark I Amram Ds it's in circulation around the USAF at the moment. And we've got a whole bunch of them. Uh, we've got six of them in their inner bays. We've also got a brand new Mark II AIM-9Xs. Uh, we're bringing out their, uh, the Mark II of the AIM-9X for the first time in DCS. Um, it's in full stealth mode. The pylons are removed and it's using its bays. Um, it has a radar cross-section of 0.05 in DCS. Smaller than the B2, basically. Very small. Some people say it's the size of a bumblebee, but it's modelled larger than that. It's modelled maybe something like a small bird in DCS, okay? That's just how it is. Still, if it's modelled, again, don't expect it to be super realistic because it's not really made for this. They're going to go in and they're going to escort the B2s. That's all they're going to do. All that really matters today, well, on the USAF side, is getting these B2s through. They can end the war if they bomb those bases. It's as simple as that. Next, why don't we move on to, uh, there's one American vessel, I forgot about this one here, which is the American LHA or LCC, which, you know, it's a landing craft, it has no point of being here, so they've just hidden it behind Taiwan. And the Americans have this superfluous E2D Hawkeye here, which was part of the 7th Fleet and is now being used out to sea, slightly vulnerable, but it's going to get a really good picture of the plan which we'll talk about later. Next, why don't we go to the Japanese. The Japanese are now here, they've got two squadrons of F-35 Bravos as they have in real life and um, they are here they're in stealth mode uh, ignore the these pylons that won't be in there if you know what I mean they're in stealth mode and they've got four times in their bays of AIM-120 C-5 yes they have C-7s in real life no I can't simulate that and they're going to be taking off and patrolling the picket line here that's it. Next, why don't we do Taiwan? Taiwan starting with seven, no, six F-16Vs already airborne, or AMLUs already airborne, which are their last ones. They've got their usual loadout, as you can see here, with C-5s and stuff, and they're going to be patrolling the picket line. That's the last of the 16s. Yes, they'll probably be shot down. Um, that's just how it is. Next, Taiwanese, uh, the FCK-1s, the indigenous fighters are coming out as played by Jeff-17s here. There are uh, two squadrons per active frontline base. So we've got two squadrons here. They're going to be taken off sequentially and patrolling the picket line. And here, two squadrons here of the FCKs, which will be taking off and patrolling the picket line. Where next? Probably my humans. I have my lovely humans in because they're just better than AI in every way. They're just, they do, they're much cleverer. AI can only follow my path and they usually just run into their death and there's not much we can do about it. Uh, humans can, well, mostly run into their death as well, but the, I can make them do more useful things. They have, um, I don't know who's going to fly them yet, we'll talk about it, but they have the option of having two FCK-1s, which are the indigenous fighters, or they can borrow some U of the USN FA-18Es, and they've got them there. Everything's set here as murder uh, standard, so murder Jeff, murder Hornet, but they can equip with anti-ship or whatever they want to do, depending on the mission. SAMs I'm not going to go through because they're the same as last time, but the SAMs are all up operational, and all these bases are beautifully defended. We've got the United States Navy. This is a remnant of the 7th Fleet that didn't get shot down by the PL-15. So we've got two squadrons of F-A-18 uh, Lot 20s playing F-A-18 E Super Hornets. They are equipped with full anti-shipping. Eight, uh, no, four times AGM-84 D air launch harpoons plus AMRAM C-5s plus AIM-9Xs. Now is where it's going to get interesting. These guys have obviously seen that the plan is joining, coming down the coast, and is now in operational range. So... These, six, these two squadrons of Super Hornets are going to head out here at high altitude, look for these ships here. When they see them on their air-to-ground radars, they're going to fire their harpoons at them, and then they're going to RTB. That's that mission. Okay, guys? That is the blue side done, apart from the humans, and we will come back to the humans. Moving on to red. The main difference today is they're not going to do their cruise missile strike because it just fails against the picket line. And then they're not going to do the ballistic strike for the reasons that we saw before. So they're bringing in the plan. First destroyer flotilla is here, consisting of, and these are horrible vessels, as in horribly good, type 052C destroyers. By the way, you guys have asked if the 055, the brand new ones ever coming out in DCS, I've asked decker and they're saying that it's not planned to come into dcs and i can't get a reason out of them why so 052 is the best we're ever going to have for the foreseeable future there's four in formation and you know how good they are don't need to say and they've got the corvettes that you guys asked for four times guided missile corvettes with supersonic missiles anti-ship missiles um are going to be accompanying them that's that they are moving at flank speed towards the uh, picket line to destroy the picket line 
Next, they've got the three HQ9 sites, which have been there. Pretty much the best Sam in the world just sitting there being the best Sam in the world. Um, not much is going to change. Next, the HQ7s have joined. In real life, the Chinese would defend their airfields with HQ7s, and so I've moved them in because, you know, we're going to have these B2s attacking them. I have to simulate some kind of base defense. Each of the five bases in play today has a fully operational site of HQ7s. If you don't know what they are, they're these nasty sons of guns here. Um, horrible things to fight. And they uh, very modern uh, Chinese assets that will be shooting down some of those J Sows. That's the SAMs. Two Hawkeyes, not Hawkeyes, AWACSs. KJ 2000s doing their thing. Next, the main attack is going to be broken into uh, three. We've got anti ship north, anti ship south, and we've got blockers. Okay, so. I'm just thinking, as Game Master, what would the Chinese do? Well, they can't They can't do a missile strike anymore. They've got to get rid of the picket line. They screwed it up last time, or I screwed it up last time. But they've got to get it done. So, anti-ship north. Four times H6Js with the mighty. Best anti-ship uh, thing in the world, apart from possibly the new American ones, which we don't have. Uh, four times YJ-12 supersonic anti-ship missiles. Brand new out of the Chinese inventory. You all know how good it is by now. So that is 16 missiles per squadron or bombers, and they are going to be tasked with attacking four vessels on the picket line. Defending them in anti-ship north are eight, one squadron of J-11 Bravos, a uh, medium to long range escort aircraft with uh, the usual stuff they take, the PL-12As, the uh, increased range SC-10, and a bunch of PL-8s there. So that's eight of them defending um, these guys there, so they're pretty much invulnerable. Next, anti-shipping south. One squadron of H6Js uh, with the same weapons, so that is 16 missiles to be fired. Is it 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, yeah, 16 missiles to be fired against four ships of Taiwan Frigate Flotilla. Being defended by a squadron of J10As, so that's eight J10As, if I can find them, there they are, with uh, the usual company, four times the SD10s and uh, the PL10 Hob. And one half squadron, one flight of the J1607 batch with the mighty long range PL15, which in DCS at least is just a killer of giants. Uh, how good it is in real life, we've had massive speculation. Uh, I can't seem to get any concrete data from anyone, so. I mean, those guys are vulnerable. So then we employ the blocking force. The blocking force this time is huge because this is pretty much, as far as I see it, China's last attempt to do this. Uh, you know, we've got the stealth bombers and the stealth fighters coming in now. I don't see how, you know, long this can go on for. So they're, put, they're committing a big blocking force of two and a half squadrons of J-10As, uh, which are the most prolific indigenous fighters, uh, with six SD-10s and two HOBs. So that is 20. 20 J-10As, that is. Uh, they're just going in and just trying to get the attention on them and trying to do damage, simple as that. And one half and one flight of J-16 Batch 7s that we talked about earlier. So that is 24 aircraft there doing the blocking manoeuvre, very good aircraft. Plus, they've got the wildcard J-20As down here. I didn't know what to do with them. Um, it's pointless just throwing them into the fray because they'll just get, they'll just get shot. They're not invincible. Uh, they're going around here on a sneaky manoeuvre to try and take down these Hornet anti-ship and w warning, I have tested everything here, not together, but in singletons, and they are probably the most dangerous things today is these J-20s. Uh, uh, so be super careful of them, humans on the blues. And finally, humans on the red, don't know who's going to play yet, but they've got um, really whatever they want. J-10s they can fly, they've got J-16s back here, further away, they've got J-20 stealth fighters they can fly, or J-11As that they can fly um, to be the Chinese. That is my local stipulations covered. That, guys, is the fight. It's massive, it's complicated, it's technical, and we need to talk about next which humans are going to go on which side. I think I'll probably start with a bug, and then um, I might take up a, a JF-17 if there's time. Roger, Cortana Blue, Simba. Yeah, uh, I can do either of the planes on the blue side. Okay, Blue, Damp. I'm going red side with the uh, J11. Red is bad. Some PL15s. Right. Yep. Okay. Red. Right. Uh, damp. I've got no ideas for you. Do whatever you want. Probably just go and shoot stuff down. That's that's my best thing I can think. There's, you're not getting past that picket line. No one is. So go and shoot some stuff down. Have fun. Infinite respawns. Blues is a bit more complex. You guys have got a lot going on today. There's two theaters. Blues. There's Theater East which I just wouldn't tackle because you've got all the baddies in the world and you know how good they are by now. You know, a bog isn't going to stand up against a J-16. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, so unless you're suicidal, I personally wouldn't go East Theatre, at least until they're mixed in with the um, picket line, which really does upset them. They can't get past the picket line. My suggestion is, 
I think you should help the most important thing on the blue side. You can't help the B2s, okay? I don't think you can help the B2s for the reasons I just said. You can help the Hornets, the US Navy Hornets. In fact, they need help because they haven't actually got any cap assigned to them. They're going to be attacked by at least two uh, J-20 stealth aircraft and probably damp if he pulls his socks out, pulls his socks up. Um, so I think you should protect them and or join in with them as well. So you can bolster their ranks with anti-ship or you can go as cap and escort and escort them. I don't know which one's best really, but that I know from my practice is going to be a major um, weakness on the blue side, guys. Um, and if you're wondering why I haven't given them cap, I couldn't. Um, I tried, but every time... They're like a dog with a bone. They, they see the reds and just run off and, and fight them. Um, and I couldn't get anyone to stick with them. So uh, that's your choice, guys. You won't have a GCI and you won't have map either because map is turned off. You'll have to use data link and rely on in-game things. Same with UDAMP. You'll have to use your data link, which you do have, and rely on your AWACSs. Any other tactics from my blues or and or predictions from my blues? Uh, Not a thing. Yep. Chaos. Yep. I have no idea what to expect out of this, but I'm going to have fun. Yes, you are. My predictions, because I've seen everything in isolation at least, the B2s can do their mission. I can tell you that. They can do their mission. Uh, it's tight, but they can. However, mixed with all this massive fight at the same time, I don't know. There's, there's, there's an infinite amount of parameters. This is impossible to calculate. I'm going to give them a 50-50. The Raptors uh, should do well. They've got their uh, big missiles this time. Uh, but again, they're fighting against a real good set of a set of aircraft. The things, I don't think we can influence that because the fight is so big there. The only outcome I think we can probably help with is the attack against the plan. Like I said, uh, helping those Hornets is probably the best thing I can think we can do. Is that going to survive? In isolation, they do go and they do fight and they do, uh, you know, damage to that fleet. Again, once all the stuff and the J-20s and everything's added, will they make it? I just don't know. So many parameters. Uh, I'll say this whole thing's a 50-50. Guys? Yeah, can, we get a can we get a range from Kingsfield to the, the planned fleet at their, their starting point? It is. 170 miles. 170 miles. Oh. Just out of interest, from Kingsfield to meeting up with the Hornets would be about 60 to 70 nautical. Uh, on an uh, can, I get, can I get a distance for the J-11? From uh, and to? To defend planned fleet? Yep. Um, to defend planned fleet... Uh, from Alcazar is about 100, so it's the same, 160, 170 nautical miles, about 180 miles. So it's pretty long range stuff today. I think that's what we're going to do today. I think I think blues and reds are going to intercept trying to fight this. I'd uh, agree. To... I wouldn't mess with the blob. The blob's just going to be a nightmare. You'll never survive the blob. But down there, we can get some tactical fights fighting going on. Okay, guys, stand by. And we're starting in three, two, one, go. And it's working. It's working, guys. Right. Biggest game so far. Uh, 157-something AI aircraft, respawning humans, 20-plus ships, I don't know, 50 SAMs all together, six helicopters, hundreds of missiles will be in the air at once. Um, Simba, unless you're getting different stuff than I am, uh, you're not going to be able to launch any of those weapons if you don't update the cartridge. Uh, when, I, when I load it, it will load all of the... Munitions. Huh. It didn't load any for me. Well, jump, jump in the murder bog, guys. Just jump in the murder bog. The difference in speed isn't worth worrying about at this point. Raptor. It's full stealth mode equipped with its Amram Ds. It's modern Ace radar. Immediately going for speed. There's going to be lots of jerking and glitching, obviously. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Just suck it up, everyone. And when we run... Sock speed. occupying runway. Right. Uh, come and have a look at Mr. Socky Wocky. Sock airborne. Sock is equipped with PL-15s and S... Oh, God. A PL... 12 A's. Right, we've had a look at the Raptors. We've had a look at the Spirits. Uh, helicopters are taking off. We've got the uh, Simba, as in a Jeffrey. Look at that little Jeffrey. Going for air to air by the looks of it. Doesn't carry the weapons of the Murder Hornet, but it probably is faster. That was a quick start. Also, Cortana up in a Murder Hornet. Slower, but. 
Lots more weaponry. It's also going to take me two minutes to uh, rearm and upgrade the cartridge and get in the air. Yeah, that's the thing. So, F-16s are lost. Oh my god, one's damaged. How did that happen? We had an F-16 damaged somehow, even though nothing's been shot. Um, that's weird. The rest are okay. Well, you have to guess why that is, I don't know. you got the Japanese F-35 Bravos, full stealth mode, climbing. Immediately into the battle, that's pretty cool. Uh, the FTK is the indigenous fighters uh, with the analog of the JF-17 in, fully armed, ready to go. Sorry for the camo, it's the uh, best I could do at the time. Uh, four ST-10s on each. Uh, they actually fire uh, an indigenous missile. No idea if there's any good or not, but it's similar, apparently. Uh, to the ST-10, uh, my guys are out there, uh, making, they appear to be going directly towards the plan fleet. More indigenous fighters here. Uh, here come the US Navy. They crash, don't crash, don't crash. Here come the US Navy. Um, two squadrons of anti-shipping uh, Super Hornets going on there and... Oh, hello. Right, plan has fired. Plan has fired all of the YJ-62s in the world. These are subsonic, uh, long-range anti-shipping missiles. I thought they had a range of about 60 miles. Turns out no, because they're firing them at 140 nautical miles, about 160 miles. Now that's something I've learned today. It's this thing here, the booster on the back. Pretty mean missile, that should be interesting. The J-20 stealth fighters are up, doing their thing. Maximum burn, probably mark 1.5, something like that. Okay, whoa, everything's going so quickly. The YJ-12s are out now from the bombers, and they are doing their YJ-12 thing. Supersonic, um, sea-hugging missile. Pretty much unstoppable XJ-12. Also, the first fighters are going in, and we're going to see the first missiles out soon, probably from the Block uh, 7 J-16s. The F-22 Raptors are way out, 120 miles. Where has Damp? I've, oh, there's Damp. Um, slightly late to the party, but he's moving in. Oh, missiles out. We've got ST-10s out. No PL-15s, interestingly. They were usual PL-15s being fired by now at about 60 to 70 miles. ST-10s out, though, from the front J-10s. And in response already, AMRAM uh, 120 Charlie 5 from the Lightnings. The Lightnings are firing a long range for their um, very modern AEC radars that are picking these guys up easily. Um, firing a massive volley exchange of AIM-120s and ST-10s, more or less, equal missiles in their performance uh, in game at least and probably in real life uh, how effective are the st10s going to be against, against the stealth fighters not very by the looks of things because none of them have been targeted you see so the stealth is working while the f16s get shot down the stealth are not being targeted but the volley of fire is so big and remember you will get burned through on a stealth fighter at about 10 miles and that is where we're at now so they might get seen no they're not the stealth can't be seen Or can they? Yes, they can. Within 10 miles, a stealth is no longer a stealth. We've reached that point where there's just too much going on now. 
server. It feels like it's about to quit, but let's keep going with it. Simba and Cortana have made it through the first batch of baddies. More YJ-12s out here. First YJ-12s are coming in. Now, this is critical. How... YJ-12s are getting shot. YJ-12s are getting shot by SM2s. I think this is going to be the first vessel targeted. They're still getting shot. SM2's out. We're down to just a couple of frames a second at best. Oh, look at the death and destruction around here. None of the YJs made it in. See what's up. Shot. And one hit. One got through. One got through. Two got through. And with a massive ton warhead, that is enough. That's a destroyer down. Two destroyers down. Three got through that time. Two ships down. Oh, and more coming in. Only two have made it through this time. Will it be enough to sink this cruiser? One. None made it through. None made it through. Amazing defense by the cruiser. And the last cruiser here being attacked. How many are going to make it through? None by the looks of it. The SM2s have dealt with the problem. No. See what's up. Boom. Midships. A ton of explosive in your face. Ouch. I should take it back. I don't think they're a ton of explosive. I'm thinking the old Russian supersonic missiles. But look at the size of the fight now. It's getting ridiculous. A big hole has appeared in the picket line. A big hole in the picket line. At least two destroyers and one cruiser destroyed. Fight is now melee. It's now dog fights of F-35s against the PL-10. And the problem with that, of course, is with our standoff. Oh, the PL-15s are out. Look at the PL-15s. Oh my god, this is going to get ugly. Simba and Cortana are over these menacing missiles. They can't shoot them down. Their planes can't go as fast as these supersonic missiles, which is why Cortana's picked up a PL-15. Cortana, do a good thing. Immediately, a stealth is shooting a PL-15 at you. Good notching. Let's hope for the best. Look at this thing. It just chases and chases and chases. Okay, you're beating it. Well done. I think. Roger. I've only got about one frame a second, so it's hard to tell. Um, Same. Yep. Yeah. Do your best, guys. It will get better uh, the, as people start to run out of missiles. And it's mainly the YJ-12. The programming in the YJ-12 is horrendously inefficient in DCS at the moment. So that it will suck up all the CPU. I don't know. I'm just going to sit and watch on the map because too much is happening at this point. Now, where did Damp get to? Damp, are you dead? There he is. Nope, I am way above. I'm about to fire my PL-15s. Roger. Right, okay. This is quite a fight, Valley Views. Right, here comes the first frigate. Okay, frame rates are going up a little bit now. I'm about maybe up to 10. Simba, do you see anything out in front of you? I've got nothing on radar. Frigates don't stand a chance against these missiles. Oh, I got a J-20 firing at me from heading 210. Roger. Bring it down. Patriots are shooting these ones down, look. Okay, frame rate's getting good, guys. The main barrage of missiles are done. The wider 12s that kill the server. 
Okay, massive damage done by the YJ-12. Oh my goodness. Where is Cortana? Actually, oh, Cortana's duking it out with a J-20. This is good, good, good. I mean, if, if nothing else, if you get those J-20s to fire at you guys, that's one less Hornet that's going to be shot down, which is yep. the best you can do. Soccer's miles from the combat zone. The YJ-63s are slowly eking their way towards. The big fight has already happened. We've probably had 100 planes shot down nearly so far in this giant melee. All the F-35s are dead apart from one in this kind of cool looking dogfight here. F-35 dogfight versus J-16-07 badge. Could you ask for a better fight? I'm not sure the F-35 Bravo comes with a gun. Which is going to be interesting. I'll say the F-35 looks more manoeuvrable. Can't quite get the aspect. Missiles coming in. I see friendly fire on the horizon. And there's also a Jeff. A Jeff dogfight. Or an FCK1. And a Jeff's going to win. Fire the missile man. Idiot. Man, my RWR doesn't know what the hell's going okay, on. Okay, where's Cortana? Cortana's doing well. Don't get me wrong, you're surrounded by PL 15s but you're not in the worst position I've seen. Um, there's an excellent intercept to your 223 on a J. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, the first Hornets, the first anti ship Hornets are going to get hit by PL 15s. Or not? There's nothing friendly on 223, correct? Apart from helicopters in there, don't worry about them. Um, yes, correct. Two anti shipping Hornets down. Mad Dog times three. Oh, look at this! She's mad dogged. Aim 120C's out in the likely position of the stealth. And this is, of course, how you kill a stealth in real life from non stealth aircraft. You send your missiles out without a track and hope they lock on at the last minute. The only problem with that is that this guy's moving uh, oblique uh, Mach 1.5. So we're going to have to. Oh, wow, he's not even got a pilot. They're using it in AI mode, look, which is a thing. There's no pilot. That's interesting. Uh, Simba's airborne again. Damp's coming into the. The zone now the major fight's been done now and the reds chinese won it sort of but they're now against the picket line the picket lines what doing the killing with the um, sm2s where are the b2s where are the b2 there are the b2s although there's only no there's some b2s there's some b2s there no b2s have been shot down all 10 b2s are alive where are the raptors where are the raptors the raptors have been ejected from the server I can't see any of them. They're so invisible, they've gone. I don't know, we'll have to debrief that and tag for you. All the raptors have disappeared. And I don't have a reason for it, I'm afraid. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter now because all the reds have been shot down anyway. So there you go. Merge stealth J-20 with anti-shipping Super Hornets. That's one thing I didn't think I'd see today. Right. Oh, the J-20's been hit by a friggin' one of Cortana's missiles. It's missing its... Nice. It's missing... It's on fire. Right, it's still alive, so it still needs attacking. One of its bomb bays is jammed open. That might not be an effective fighter anymore, which would be nice. This PL-15 has gone all the way round and come back. Power of PL-15. Apologise, I'm missing so many minutes for the fight, but they're really a same. Oh, Cortana's found another J-20 and he's now fighting it. And a I batch see a ahead of me. Is there anything friendly ahead of me? Only helicopters, and don't worry about that. Oh no, a B2 is going to get hit by a PL-15. Oh, is there nothing? These PL-15s got down. track. B2 Bomber Spirit down. Oh man. Cortana's mad on another missile. That's going to go for that guy there. That's going to be interesting. And also, where's that PL-15 going for? Simba has a long-range PL-15 incoming. 
I don't know what this is doing. It's doing a thing. It's attacking these hornets. Uh, Cortana Fox 3. These are such good pilots. Look at that. Look at the notch on Cortana's missiles. That's why I've got a lot of them. Yep. Murder Hornet, yo. Look at this thing. This thing is just chasing the anti shipping hornets down. It's chasing them all the way around and back. And it's finally run out of battery. Wow. Pale 15, yo. What to look at? Cortana Mad Dog. Cortana, there. You are 11 miles behind that hostile. Give it to him. He's gone low. He's gone into the thick air. And he's taking Cortana for a ride by the looks of things. Gonna have to have a sip of tea here. That's all right. I'm fine with just driving him away. Okay, good news is, in that massive fight, no idea where the Raptors went, but the J-11s, uh, the, the the Reds are all dead. There's, there's like four Red fighters up, plus damp. Uh, so it's a negligible force at this point. So the air to air's done the job, although they've pretty much all died doing it, which means the spirits are more or less, apart from two have been shot, two spirits are down. One, two, two of the ten spirits are down, eight are through on target, which is great news. Wow, this is all happening so quickly. Uh, Cortana is chasing this guy here. He's turning into you, Cortana. This is going to be interesting. Uh, we've got a eight-mile fight here. Murder Hornet doesn't give up when it's latched on. Simba, are you still in game? Yes. No job. Simba's out there doing something. Okay, watching uh, Cortana's do dart. He's doing all sorts of Ivan shit. That's all right. Oh, he's three. beaten it again. Those guys. I've checked because a lot of people are saying this J17, J16 J is cheating. I've checked the RCS is 4.5. It's the same as a flanker. So they've not done anything weird cheating. I don't know why it's so good. It's right on his face. It's right on his face, Cortana. Back three. It's good. I think this was going to hit him. It's literally in formation. It's in formation. Oh, my God. He's used his thrust vector and he's got out of there. How does that happen? Again, like I said, if it's cheating, then he's done it without my ability of knowing how. Clone is three miles behind. Fuck three. Murder Hornet never gives up. Come on, come on, come on. This one's got his name all over it. It's got his name all over it. He's turning. He's 9 g -ing. Are you serious? Is that a Cobra? He's done a freaking Cobra and beating it. That means one thing. Dogfight, dogfight, dogfight. Aim 9X out. Sock's down. Roger Sock. Get up again. Fox 2. He will Please not go. die! Yeah, I think there's something. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, dead, he's dead, he's dead. Leave him, leave him, leave him. No, he's not. Yeah, he's bugged, he's bugged. Go for a gun. Do something. Run him out of fuel. Guns kill. Just keep him busy and out of the way. He's obviously bugged. I think it's one. There's one. Always one that's bugged. It's always in this position. You appear to have found him, unluckily, but suck it up. <gasps> uh, he's also getting shot by SM2s, which shouldn't track you, but watch out for the explosion. They've got big warheads. Roger. Watching that SM2 coming in. Ow. It's always one. There's, we find this one that's bugged. Yeah, they're hitting right behind him. It's almost like his hitbox is offset by uh, a few feet. Oh yeah, he just went straight through all of my ammo. I would suggest leaving him, Cortana. I've just, oh, miss out, God, ah! Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh, you know, she's alive and he's dead. Wow. Huh. Okay, there you go, guys. There you go. Simba, hold fire, hold fire. There's any friendlies in there. Cortana, uh, get cranking on I've a- I've got a RTB. Uh, okay, you do have a friendly Simba missile heading him right into your face. And I can see oh. how this is going to end. But you mm. know what? You're out of ammo anyway, so you've done your work. Um, wow, you oh. finally managed to kill Invincible Man. Apparently. Uh, right. right. I'll go and respawn. Okay, anti shipping guys are fine. The anti guys. The anti shipping hornets are fast. Super hornets are firing and doing a really impressive ailment to turn, turn around. Look at that. Never seen AI do that before. You know what, guys? You've protected. You've done your job. You've protected the anti-shipping hornets. They're now through on target. The only guy they've got against them is a J-20, who's got an AMRAM coming at him. And he's damaged from Cortana's first barrage, and I don't think he can do anything anyway. No, I don't think he can do anything. So your job is complete. Now, here come the YJ-62s against the uh, these guys here, which I'm... SM-2s are shooting them down. And... Uh, Simba, the best thing... Can you see the missile? You're actually above a bunch of anti-shipping missiles. Can you see them? The best thing you do right now is kill the missiles that you're above. Do a split S and kill those missiles. 
because you've actually got nothing to shoot down around you. Uh, B2 Spirits are through on target, through on target, apart from damp. Apart from damp, B2 Spirits are through on target. Cortana, your best job is to get airborne and get east quickly to take out damp, who's hunting B2 Spirits. Uh, there's one JLM Bravo that is here, and he is out of fuel. Look, he's got B2 Spirits above him, who he could easily shoot down if he's vectored to them. Remember, stealth only works within, you know, outside of a certain amount of miles. This guy's out of fuel. He can't maneuver. And even though he's got a lovely bunch of Peel 15s there. <gasps> the first... Uh, boom, the first spirits are dumping their first missiles. The J-Sals are out. The J-Sals are out. Look at those lovely bombays. 16 J-Sals per bomber. Massive bombers, these things 293 are. 293 for 100. I don't want to give too much information away, but you are heading into a bunch of BT spirits, which can't defend themselves. I'm just going to say that. Uh, no. Yeah, AOX has vectored me to them. J20's down, J20's down. The last fighter apart from Damp is down. The uh, naval guys defended themselves. And I've got uh, 16 times 4 is 64. 64 anti-shipping missiles on their way to the 20s. The fast, fast, last YJ22's going in that Simba's helping clear up. Uh, they're pretty much down, Simba, or done their job. Uh, they were not majorly destructive by the looks of it. They did take one frigate out by the looks of it. Oh, hello, uh, HQ-9 shooting down the AGM-154s. This is the problem. These are not stealth. They will get shot down. They have the same radar cross-section, amazingly, as a B-2 Spirit. These AGM-154s, which are the JSALs, these things here. Um, and they're getting shot down by the gargoyles now. And now, will they get through? Will enough of them get through? They don't need all... You know, however, mate, wow, a lot have been shot down. <laughs> a lot have been... Here's the problem. The HQ-9s, best Sam in the world, question mark, is just lethal at 40 miles. It can even see a stealth bomber. Uh, this guy is completely merged with his B-2s, but he's out. I don't think he's even going to make it back. Uh, these B-2s will be firing soon. More B-2s out on Damp's base. Is Damp going to put up with that? This guy's just put out eight, no, 16 AGM-154s. Problem is, gargoyles are going up. And even if these make it through the gargoyles... Do, they cannot make it through the HQ-9. This is the thing is, a lot of people say Chi America would come and bomb China. Uh, this is what happens if you actually try and do that. You get HQ-9s and HQ-7 shooting your ass down. Uh, can I get a vector? Two. Where I'm Suck. needed, I guess. Yes. One, two, zero for 100 miles. One, two, zero for 100. Okay, big pack. That was 16 originally. Now it's down to about eight. Uh, J-Sals, these guys are still on target. Uh, these are getting through. Okay, good news is HQ-9s be out of missiles. So this lot are getting through, albeit the HQ-7s, which we still need to get through. Now, this is an interesting battle. 64 AGM-84Ds heading towards the Chinese flotilla. How much damage will they do? I guess we'll just have to see. Damp versus a B-2 Spirit. I can't see him on radar. I'm going to have to opt him. Yeah, exactly. He is uh, 0 0.1 meters squared. Uh, it's very small. Ah, oh, this is the best one so far, guys worked out so well you never know how these things are going to go valued viewers it could go literally either way uh this time it's just worked out amazingly entertainment for everyone uh damp has got through to a spirit even simba who's 60 miles won't be able to get there in time the only thing that could maybe help would be a raptor with an agm uh an aim 120d long shot but even that i doubt would help because it's going to take a long time to get there suicidal spirits have gone in don't know what they're doing uh but there you go damp is on the tail of the spirit He's firing at the spirit. I can't lock him. Oh, that's a damn problem, I'm afraid. The thing about these spirits is they're stealthy, even from the rear, uh, to a certain extent. Look at that. They're stealthy, all aspects stealthy. It's a real problem, I'm trying to fight them. Lots of attacks happening at the moment. You'll just have to catch him up and beat him kinematically, gun him down. And they're not even that slow. Fox one. That's a Fox 3. And it's on him. I think that's going to be a kill on the Spirit. Oh, broken to pieces. Well done, Damp. Spirit down. Guys, uh, new Vector. No, yes, kill Damp, actually. Keep on your existing Vector and kill Damp. He's in actually the major problem right now. First AG and 154s going in now. Second bunch just come out here. They've got through the HQ9s. And there's no one to defend against them. So much to watch. What do we watch? Probably this lot. First batch of J-Cells are hitting the Chinese home base right now. The question is now, can they get through the HQ... Uh, what are they called? HQ-7s? That, I don't know. Sonic Boom just reached here from Damp's kill. Now, that's cool. 
They're not defending themselves. They're not defending themselves. Why not? That's interesting. They should be able to, I thought. No, HQ7s are not defending themselves. Have I got the wrong type? No, it's the, it's the correct launcher. They're very short range. Better be, because we're about to get hit by 154s. Hey, Cap, this is Sock. Hello, Sock, can I help you at all? Sir, can I get a vector to the Cortana and um, Simba? Yes. Right, HQ7s in defend. Don't know why. Thought they could. That's an unknown quantity. Unknown problem. Where'd that missile go? Don't know. Oh, there we go! There's the runway blown up! Ah, look at that! And those sounds and ting. Is that all of the J cells down? Boom! There's multiple impacts on each point, by the way. Most have been destroyed, though. Most have been destroyed. Two impacts on that runway. We'll have to decide later and debrief whether it counts as runway destroyed or not. Where do we go next? Okay, there's a dog, there's a fight between Simba and Damp. Uh, there is also this developing, which is the attack on the flotilla. Can the flotilla of 054 spread itself? Wow, literally missiles exploding in the flotilla right now. Will these guys get through is the question. I've got to watch the anti-shipping fight. Box three. He's got mi missiles in you, Simba, so be careful. Uh, I'm watching the Simba fight. Oh, that's a big missile on Simba. Look at that thing go. He's firing a second motor, which is pretending to be the ramjet sustainer. Simba has wisely got out of there. Cortana's coming in on the overlap. Having a look at his AGMs. Can we do damage? Can they get past the Chinese Sea Whiz? Oh, you're fine. Your missile's up too late, mate. Here it comes. Oh, oh, sorry. Those are HQ-9s. They're incredibly potent missiles. Oh, missile down. Each of these carrying 400 pounds of high explosive and penetrated wide. Oh, my God. It's getting so tetchy. No, they couldn't get through the Chinese Sea Whiz. These HQ-9s are the same HQ-9s that these guys are firing, by the way. They're incredibly potent missiles. How's your dogfight going, guys? Myself. Fox 2. What's oh, a freaking merge? He's got the PLA. It's not the PL-10, it's the PLA. It's merge. He's got the flares out. Oh, it's a merge of Max Jones. He's down. Dump is down. Oh, it's a double kill. A double kill, boys. Now that. What the hell am I locking up, then? Uh, you are... It's a random uh, AWACS. AWACS. Ooh. You've got the AWACS. He's very easy to see. Damage to the Chinese you can't jam flotilla. Jam me forever, Dan. One I said you down. can't jam me forever. <laughs> All right. About yeah. to be no, jammed. You, dude, you friggin'. I think you dodged at least two. At least two of my. Oh, that was lucky. Chinese flotilla's getting hit. Seawiz can only help you for so long. Plus, it's gonna run out of ammo. We're through. 052 in the face. 400 pounds. High explosive. Boom. Yeah. And again. Boom. Dead. And another one coming in front. Oh, shut down the Sea Whiz. They've really targeted this ship mainly for some reason. And <laughs> destroy it dead. One destroy it dead of the flotilla. And more coming in. Uh, what else is going in? Wow, we've got a massive doodah here. Another base, Chinese base that's refusing to defend itself. You know what? That's a Chinese base problem. Pretty sure I set everything up right. There they come. Boom. Any more? Socks going up again. Gonna take out these bombers. Watch out. Uh, he's literally taking off with his bomber getting blown up. Boom. In fact, no, you shot the one down that was going for your runway. Look at all those cuts. Look at all those lovely runway cuts, valid viewers. Trying to be out of action. Beautiful B2 strikes. I wonder how many were lost. I think that's everything done here. No, more. It's 
got to be it. Fully out of action, guys. Oh, there's another one going in, just a good measure. Just in case he didn't know it was Dill. Hello. Oh, well, uh, something... up. I hate it how they do that. I hate it how they go for dead ships. Wagner, change it. Harpoon in. It's run out of sea with ammo. Oh, Corvette dead. Corvette dead. Wow, what an effective anti-shipping mission, guys. Brilliant. What a strike. What a strike. That's a quarter of their flotilla down. And a whole bunch more... Whoops. A whole bunch more Hornets coming in. Super Hornet on speed. More missiles coming in. Oh, no, they're blank. He's just going in for a suicide run. Uh, USN. Right. Guys, we've still got Cortanas. Cortanas, Corton, hey, what's up? That's a valuable asset. And the HQ9s are nowhere to be seen. Oh, it's down. Damn. Fired up missile at the last second. Oh, yeah. Tally. Um, Murder Hornet be like, woo. Something's happened here, and I don't know what's happened there. Get the feeling that's a bug, why that's been destroyed. Oh, wow. Another weird thing's happened. Oh, there's so many parameters in this thing. Uh, you've got one more dank stop coming up, cool town. You're about to have a dogfight, by the way, uh, even though you don't know about it. And then that's uh, you've south of you are some B2 spirits you must protect because the Americans will just get them destroyed. I'm leaving damp to Cortana. Mm -hmm. I'm going off to something else on the map. You can also see another runway about to be blown up. <laughs> where Literally where the H6s are landing. The H6s might even get hit by these. Oh my god, this is such a cool mission. Okay, damp is. Final Cortana, this is your last life, damp. Damn, damn, damn. Boom, damn, damn. Uh, at this point, I would usually get Tortana to strafe an HU9 site, but it has got bugged, and so I'm saying it's unstrafable. Uh, you can attack a base if you like, Cortana, at 140. Oh, harms. That's a you problem. Go uh, gun a base at uh, 140 for 17, unless there's nothing else for you to do, basically. Now, this is probably the most interesting so far, thing so far. These AGM-84s are going to attack a base where all the HQ6s are landing. Oh, you could not write this. I actually have just enough gas to make it back. So All right, yeah, off you go. Good job, guys. I couldn't even see you, Cortana. Yeah, I couldn't fighting. even see you on radar. Yeah, maybe so none of the, the sand sites came up. Uh, are they, they've. Yeah, they did. They did work, but a lot of launchers are dead. They actually blew themselves up, probably because I positioned them wrong. Hey, Cap, you're about to see an, uh, an AGM-15 take out a Chinese bomb. I'm watching on the it. Runway. I'm watching it. Look at that! Damn! Look at it! Boom! H6 down. He might. Oh, I mean not. That would have been the first H6 damage in this campaign. Man, you would not want to be in this base right now, guys. Is that the lot damp? That's. I think that's it, man. Look, they're going to have to taxi through these things and then they'll get blown up because their gear will get blown up. This is amazing. Yep. You keep watching that. I've got to. Uh, you're dead now anyway, so I've got to go and uh, take care of other stuff. Also, the penguins haven't been fired by the. Cortana is out the game basically now, escorting the spirits back. The spirits are all on their way back to land. They're landing in Taiwan. In real life, they will go back to America. But in here, well, we don't have America, so. Yeah, um, the Super Hornets are returning to base there. Uh, next, we're going to go and find out the BDA on the bases, guys. So this base is, and I don't know why these HQ6s didn't work. You can see the units there. They're all the correct units. They're all set to maximum everything. We've made a two cut on that runway there. So we'll call that half out of commission. Base two is this one. Wow. Cut, 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 cut. And yeah, it's fully out of commission. About eight cuts. Fully out of commission. Oh, poor China. I really didn't think these would get through, you know. Uh, next base, this one here. Yeah, the cut, only way cut. that I the only way cut. that I could shoot down any B two was going with my optical sight. My radar was completely yep. ineffective. Sounds realistic. Uh, fully out of service. Fully out of service. That's two bases, two Chinese bases down. Next, that is. Wow, I didn't even see this one. Cut, 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 cut. However, they do have still operational half the. Two thirds of the airfield and that belt there. Those cuts didn't get through. They got shot down. So that is half operational. And the last base. Oh wow! Look at that. That's neutralized. Fully neutralized. Cut. 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 Every cut made. Right. And I've actually forgotten. Uh, I think that was one untouched, two destroyed fully, and two half health. 
So from five upper additional bases, they've gone down to one and two halves. So it's basically half of their, more than half of their base is taken out. And Simba's got an AGM-88 headed towards the This guy managed to land at a neutral base, which means that airframe's probably out as well. Well, I don't know, actually. It means he couldn't get back to the main base. Yes, he has. Um, checking the last missiles, the uh, last things are going in here. 400 pound warhead should sink us all of it. Oh, missile shot down. Wow. Good shooting Corvette. Still only two uh, guys down. Just waiting for the penguins to come out now. So what's happened, Valley Viewers, while we've got time, is uh, the gargoyle sites were underproductive. They're underproductive because they're all shot. They're all shot. I think the reason is, I, you know, this is the kind of thing you get, that you, just, you know, you can't do everything right. I think I've put the units too close to each other, and they've actually started the jet blast of the missile going up has damaged other units, if you know what I mean. So you've got these full units, we still have the missiles in. Because the jet blast has somehow damaged their own unit, you know, which obviously wouldn't happen. So that means I'll probably disregard these AGM-88s because they can't defend themselves when they should be able to defend themselves, obviously. All the uh, USN are going back. So to reiterate, the main attack from China was the anti-shipping. And they've destroyed lots of ships. Half the picket line's dead. Four of the Taiwanese frigates, maybe even six. I think actually six. Wow, what damage. Unbelievable. Six of the Taiwanese frigates and four to five of the eight. No, four of the eight. Wow! An F-35 has just landed on a... Oh. Uh, w word! I guess we best not talk about that, right? No, one, two, three. Oh, no, three of the eight American 7th Fleet uh, auxiliary is destroyed. These Japanese never got attacked. So they destroyed over half the picket line. Now, the bad news for the Chinese is that the Americans have destroyed a quarter of the shipping in this flotilla and have lost two runways completely for 24 hours, have lost half the ability of two of their runways and of the other runway is untouched. I would say that's probably a win for Taiwan there, even though obviously they're gonna have massive aerial losses. Well, both sides have massive aerial losses. Uh, let me know your judgment, valued viewers, and who won that. I think the Taiwanese won that, although they did take a lot of attrition. Uh, and the Raptors disappeared. They were there. I saw them all there, and they disappeared, and I've got no way of telling you what happened to them. Think I feel like I... The, uh, the Magic J6 team is annoying. Uh, the Magic J6. Yeah, it's just one. The others all get shot down. And Cortana always bumps into Ivan, or uh, Ping, who's in that one, who just can't die. And I'm kind of tempted to leave it in, because it is actually quite funny. Because the only person who can kill it is Cortana, which is quite funny. Uh, finally, the penguins are out, guys. The penguins are out. We might get another ship kill here. They are very small warheads. They're 120-pound warhead, which is, you know, I could throw a bigger warhead than that. I love penguin. It's my, one of my favourite missiles of all time. Look at that. Which crazy Norwegian invented that. However, they've got a small RCS, and it's actually hard for ships to shoot these things down. They're fast as well. They're at a max 0 0.9. I'm pretty sure they actually have modules designed into these ships, though. So, like, if they hit, say, like a Sea Whiz or something, then it'll actually disable it. There we go. I do wish that we could uh, fire anti-radiation missiles at ships. Look at that. Oh, he just sailed straight through it. That's the problem with a penguin valid view, even if it hits. That's like, oh, no, he killed it. Pretty much. Wow, okay. Just like we're staying on, guys. We're staying on for the late shift. Two spirits got shot down. Anyone, anyone know the dollar value of a spirit? I bet it's a lot. Like a billion, billion. dollars or something. Mm -hmm. Billion. That's 20 F-35s in those two B-2s. On top of the munition that was carrying and the lives that were lost in there, the money that was spent training those pilots. That's a big loss, guys. But they took out and Chinese airfields, so I don't know. It's a hard one to judge. The pilots did eject. The pilots did eject. Well... Nice. At least one of them. Probably I mean, not wish they're, they're dead. They're going into the Chinese gulag now. Boom. One uh, Corvette down. If you're asking value viewers, why didn't I send in the B1s and the B52s? I'll tell you straight up now. I tried and they have zero effect against China. They immediately get shot down by PL15s at 100 miles or plus, And they need to get within the same standoff range as the B2s of about 50 miles. So B2s and B52s, sorry, b Ones and B-52s don't work against China. Hence, we had to bring out the spirits. They're the only things that can get close enough. Guys, we've now killed, break, three ships. Program cost of the B-2 was 44.75 billion. And then I guess you 
uh, divide that by the amount of B2s made. That makes it 2.13 billion per... What's the cost difference between a J11 that took out a B2 and the B2? J11 costs nothing. It's like 40, bit, 40 million versus a $2 billion plane. It's basically just the change you find down the back of the sofa. But those PL15s aren't cheap. Kind of makes me wonder about how many of those they would actually have. Slash, well, would they be out of them at this point? I mean, there's a thousand Amram Ds. How many PL15s there are there? I don't know. Equivalent amount? Unknown. I guess the, the real question is how many have been fired so far? Because it's going to be a lot. Mm. Oh, in this, in here? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah. I didn't even yeah, think about I don't it. Think I don't think we were tracking any because they just no, sadly no. But they just salvo them off. They get within seventy miles, boom, salvo six PL15. So they do so much damage, and so they just they, they all get fired, and that's six. So times I guess it's just it's pretty hundred. However many no aircraft. Yeah, so well, I can roughly work out my. It's about hundred per. It's about hundred per game, and this is game four, so four hundred PL15s fired. Uh, I guess we could compare when the PL15 came out versus when the Amram D came out, and judge equivalent. Um, the timeline for production. Roger. I'm just thinking ahead now, guys. I'm just thinking, do China continue? Uh, basically, Taiwan's Air Force is now gone. They've got a few CK-1s, but it's now gone. So that's good for China. But the Americans are here. Although they've taken a big, you know, hit. The Americans are here. So the question is, would China continue with their reduced airfields, uh, Eastern Bloc China? I don't know. Oh, Western, sorry, Western. Um, no, it's Eastern. Eastern, because the map's the other way around, isn't it? Would China continue? I guess I really have to put this back to the valued viewers. Bearing in mind what you've seen here, would China continue? Bearing in mind it's lost half the runways in this operational block, um, which would affect it in real life as well. However, it has almost, almost destroyed all of Taiwan's aeroplanes. I guess I put that back to the valued viewers. Uh, I would think that China would either cease, because otherwise it would turn into an invasion onto their at this point. Well, then again, I would figure that this would be an invasion of China mainland regardless. This is an open declaration of war. And unless China accepts unilateral, um, the unilateral peace agreement, which will probably include something like the complete demilitarization of the Chinese people uh, or the, Ch the PLA, the, the PLA regime could not, they it couldn't survive. Um, it, it would there would be civil unrest to the point where the PLA would and they can't afford that. I think they would rather throw every last human life they could rather than keep the than let the PLA fall. Sea wizards can't hit the penguins, the penguins are too small. That explains why my drones got through. It looks like there's a minimum size. Boom, another one. Wow, another Corvette down, guys. Well, that's half. That's half of the destroyer flotilla destroyed with the uh, Hornets that you guys defended and the um, and the Duda Wudas, the, uh, the 60s. Amazing development. And they're going in for a suicide camera, Kazi, for some reason. Let's pretend they're not doing that. Right, guys. Well, it's, I've talk, we've talked about the damage done, and there's been a lot to both sides. It's up for you guys, the valued viewers, to just really tell me now, would China continue? Have they got another battle, another fight left in them? Bearing in mind the problems that they're seeing now, it's you guys that decide exactly what happens. And if you do, then let me know how you think they would proceed. But I'm running out of things to do for the China. Ballistics didn't work. Cruise missiles worked, but also were ineffective. Also, they're running out of runways. U.S. Air Group, uh, I'm sorry, U.S. Uh, carrier group versus the Chinese carrier group that has them intercepted. That is that there. Also, uh, it looks like America's just lost 10 stealths, uh, sorry, eight uh, Raptors. If they didn't, assuming they didn't bug, I don't know how they lost them, but they've just gone, um, which is interesting. Now, how much does 10, eight Raptors cost? A lot of money. Either way, we've done enough talking and jabbing, guys. I'm going to release the valued viewers. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later.